My family, last year, back in December, carnival of so-called expert Danica de Jojo, a carnival of so-called expert who works for Rupert Murdoch's Sky News Australia, claimed that this year, in 2024, Prince Harry and Meghan are going to split up. And that Meghan will be the one who leaves Prince Harry. That's what Danica said last year. And my family, this year, she's complaining about Meghan wearing an expensive jewelry that belonged to the late Princess Diana that was gifted to Meghan by her husband, Prince Harry. Meghan's Cartier watch, my family, that belonged to the late Princess Diana that was gifted to Meghan by Prince Harry. Remember, Harry's mother is the late Princess Diana. Danica's mother is not Diana. Was not Diana. Harry's mother, she's the one who that watch belonged to. And Prince Harry gave his wife, the mother of his kids, that watch. And Danica is complaining about that. But before I show you the nonsense that my family she is complaining about. Let me remind you what she said last year. Back in December, my family. Can you please hear this? Harry and Meghan will split next year finally. The woe is me couple will call it quits. I think Meghan will be the one to initiate it. She's had enough. She wants to go back to so her great athletes on YouTube. She wants to go to my family, you've heard that yourself. That's the voice of Carnival of so-called sport, Danica de Jojo. Predicting that this year, Harry and Meghan will split up and that Meghan is the one who will leave Prince Harry. My family, this month, we are in July. In only a few months, this year is going to end. And my family, Harry and Meghan, will still be together. And Danica will still be complaining. My family, I think I have lost count of the number of times that whereby Carnival of so-called experts have predicted that somehow Harry and Meghan will leave each other, separate. My family, from the moment the world found out that Harry and Meghan were dating, multiple Carnival of so-called experts said this won't last. Even the Queen's former com secretary, my family, Dickie Abita, you know, the Queen's former, my family secretary, even he said, this is just a flame. It won't last. The media should just move on from this. And then Harry Meghan got married. Now they have two beautiful kids. They live in California with their kids. And my family, despite the constant abuse, insults directed towards Meghan and Prince Harry, Harry and Meghan are still together. Despite these attempts by UK media to sabotage Harry and Meghan's marriage, to sabotage Harry and Meghan's relationship, Harry and Meghan are still together. My family, Harry and Meghan are still together. And now, my family, this carnival of so-called expert, Danica Di Jojo, my family has uh, more things that she's whining and complaining about. This time, it's about the jewelry that my family, Meghan, is wearing. The jewelry that Meghan has on my family, on her. That's what she is uh, complaining about. My family, I want you to hear this yourself. 
where by Danica is speaking to someone else who is unhinged. Kinsey Scofield, the woman who photoshopped Megan's face out of her engaging photo and put her own face depicting as if she's the one who was marrying Prince Harry. My family, sadly, that's what Megan has had to deal with all these years. Some unhinged currents who somehow feel that some of Prince Harry was stolen from them and that they had a chance at Prince Harry. My family. And that Megan is someone is someone who somehow destroyed the chances of being with Prince Harry. But my family, these currents never had any chance. My family, kindly please, you know, hear this. Kindly. You know? Now, to do that. Now, look, Meghan's attempts to emulate Princess Diana uh, just seem to know no bounds, Kinsey, because she was spotted in Montecito wearing a 28,200 pound Cartier watch, which looks very similar to the one owned by Princess Diana. And she was carrying a black Dior Lady Delight bag, a version of the brand's Lady Dior bag named uh, after Diana. But Megan's had DSSOS embossed on it, standing for the Duchess of Sussex. Um, Kinsey, I, I, when I first saw this, I thought, is she trying to be desperate? What are you, what's the rationale here, do you think? Yeah, aren't, aren't we... My family, let me kindly pause there, because you've seen... Danica de Jojo. Danica, you predicted that Harry Meghan would divorce this year. So, how is that going for you? How is that going for you? Why are you complaining that Meghan is wearing a jewelry that was gifted to her by a husband? Danica, you do know that Harry and Meghan are married. Prince Harry is not married to you, Danica. Prince Harry is married to Meghan. Prince Harry is not married to Kinsey Schofield. He is married to Meghan. And my family, it is not unusual for a husband to give his wife presents. It is not unusual for a husband to my family gift his wife some gifts. My family. That is not unusual. And my family, Megan, by wearing this watch, that my family is getting so many currents upset because they can't stand seeing a woman of color wearing the watch that belonged to the late Princess Diana. To the point that they're like, you know, Megan is trying to copy Diana by what? By wearing a watch. <laughs> Megan is trying to copy Diana by wearing a watch. And let's say she was. What's the issue with that? Let's say she was. What's the issue or the problem with that? You know? What's the issue? What's the problem with that? Megan is my family, the late Diana's daughter in law. Megan is married to the son of the late Princess Diana. And my family, if she wants to pay tribute to her late mother-in-law, Diana, the my family, Megan has every right in the world to do so. And these currents who are upset have no right to be upset. And even if they are, they should keep quiet and stop throwing tantrums. My family, I remember one other carnival of second expert called Emily Andrews who had the same issue with Megan wearing an expensive Cartier tank watch that belonged to the late Princess Diana. It's all about jealousy. It's all about envy. They believe, these currents believe that a woman of color doesn't deserve to have what Megan has. An amazing husband, expensive things that she's wearing. They have an issue with that. With seeing a woman of color having expensive things on her. For example, my family, let me use an example because I like using examples. Kay Milton is wearing 
the cast sapphire ring that belonged to the late Princess Diana that was gifted to her by Prince William. And do you know how much it costs? Do you know how, how much it right now costs if you wanted to sell it? My family, I did my own research. It costs more than 400,000 pounds if you wanted that ring that belonged to the late Diana that Kate has that cast sapphire ring, my family. The reason I say it's cursed because the person who was given that ring Diana was never happy with Charles. Kate also, you can see with the own two eyes that it's like William and Kate are avoiding each other like the plague. So really, that ring is cursed. And Prince William is someone who my family, you know, has been accused of having an alleged affair with Rose Hanbury. Charles also cheated on Diana with Camilla Parker Bowles. So that ring that Kate has, that suffering is cursed. It's cursed. It's cursed. And even articles, headlines written from CNN from years ago saying that ring is cursed. And clearly the bearer of that ring is someone who is a deeply unhappy woman. You know? Especially when she's standing next to Prince William. Even right now, my family, they avoid each other like the plague. You know? My family, that's what we're seeing happening. That's what we are seeing happening. And my family... I firmly believe that Kay Moulton, you know, was trying to keep William from divorcing her. Because she knows how tough things will be if William divorces her. And my family, that period whereby Kate wasn't being seen, it must have been because something, William did something to her that was so, so bad, so awful, that Kate disappeared for months, my family. And then, my family, you know, the royal family had to negotiate a deal with Kay Moulton. And my family, if you're Kay Moulton, you definitely don't want to be divorced from someone who is the future king, even if you don't like him. You know? Because, as we now know, Kate's parents, their business has gone bust. My family, owing creators money. There are articles online that have been written that Kate will go bankrupt if she divorces Prince William. So, so she's never ever going to want to divorce Prince William. But clearly, my family, right now, I believe family, that they're the ones who live separate lives. And the media, they know it. They know it very, very well. And they're trying to cover up for William and Kim Moulton. And they're going after Harry and Meghan to destroy their union. To destroy their marriage. While painting Kate and William's marriage as some kind of, you know, an amazing match. Clearly, they have never ever been an amazing match. They don't even like each other. As Harry said, royals don't marry for love. And the first thing that UK media said, Harry... He's talking about William and Kay Moulton. Harry's dig at Wills and Kay because they know it. They know it. They know it very well. The tabloids know. But they're angry at Prince Harry because he married for love. And that's why you are seeing Karen being so, so jealous. That Meghan is wearing a watch that belonged to the icon, the legend, the late Princess Diana. I mean, why else are they angry? And it isn't just the Nika, the Jojo who's angry. Also, Emily Andrews. Last year, or my family two years ago, you know, around the time of King Charles' uh, coronation, I remember, Megan was posted out and about hiking with her friends. And uh, Emily Andrews, I believe, I remember very, very well, she woke up, my family, early morning in the UK to tweet, to post a tweet on X. Formerly called Twitter. 
that you know I don't wear a forty thousand you know dollar watch to go hiking, and I'm like, you are not married to Prince Harry. You are not Meghan. You are not a princess, Emily Andrews. But these people always envision themselves as they are the ones who should um, my family have uh, married Prince Harry. You know? Not Meghan. That's how they picture themselves. Because they're so, so bitter and angry that Prince Harry fell in love with a woman of color. Megan, my family, and the tantrums that you see them throwing right now, that Megan, oh, Megan is wearing an expensive jewelry. Why, why, why? Even the Daily Mail itself has put a price tag on Megan's, my family, expensive, you know, jewelry, my family. You know, I mean, let me read you some stuff that my family Daily Mail has even, for example, you know, written. After Megan was put out and about with her friend, having my family lunch, the restaurant, my family, in Montecito, not earning a penny of taxpayer money. Also, allow me to say this. This behavior of the media of putting a price tag on what Megan wears, on the jewelry she walks at all times with, it is very, very dangerous and ethical behavior. Megan does not earn a penny of taxpayer money. Kate does. And even the media, when they are listing the price or cost of what Kate is wearing, which they rarely even do, which they rarely do, my family, when they are listing the cost of what Kate has in jewelry, my family, they don't even put a price on the cast wedding ring that Kate has. That belonged to the late Princess Diana. Which costs 400,000 pounds. Expensive. Very, very expensive. My family. Very, very expensive. They don't put a cost when they, whenever they're talking about what Kate is wearing. But when it's Megan, hear this. When it's Megan, here's what they do. End of quote. Megan, known for an impressive jewelry collection... Megan wore over 53,000 pounds, you know, of glittering accessories on Sunday, even without including the price of the huge 271,000 engagement ring on her finger. This behavior is extremely dangerous. What the UK media, who my family, as all of us have seen, that have incited hatred against Megan. Their behavior, what they've done is extremely wrong. What they've done is extremely evil. Because their rhetoric is what my family endangers Megan, Harry, my family, their lives. You know? My family, Megan, in the Harry Megan documentary, let me explain this. Said of my family put who attack her or abuse her. My family is UK media mostly. She said, Let go, my family, you are making people want to kill me. This rhetoric of the UK media is what endangers my family, Megan's safety, her life. But still, instead of them being ethical, being my family, being, uh, how can I put this? Instead of them being objective, and using the common sense, they refuse to do all that. But my family, mentioning the cost of jewelry that Megan has. My family, years ago, and I know you don't like me using this example, but this is the best I can think of. Years ago, my family, Kim Kardashian was uh, robbed of, of her, you know, my family jewelry. And she used to show the entire world what she was, you know, wearing, jewelry that she had on my family, and she was robbed of her, you know, jewelry. And my family, it was a scary moment for her. She's a mother who has uh, kids. 
Now, my family, when you see that happening, as media outlets, you need to be responsible. You can't do this to Megan. You can't keep on listing, this is the cost of the jewelry Megan has on her. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong what they are doing. It is extremely, extremely wrong. And also, it's them trying to keep Megan from wearing expensive things because they don't like seeing it on her. Clearly, Emily Andrews and this um, carnival of so-called expert who works for Madoc, Danica De Jojo, don't like seeing Megan wearing an expensive watch that belonged to the late Diana. They don't like seeing that. They don't like seeing that. They don't like seeing it on a woman of color. That's the issue that they have. That's the problem that they have. You know, my family, my message to them is that get over it. Get over it. Prince Harry was never going to propose to you, Danica, or Kinsey Schofield, or Emily Andrews. Prince Harry proposed to Meghan because she is the woman he loves. He was never going to love you, Danica, or you, Emily Andrews, or you, Kinsey Schofield. And you've got to learn to accept it. If Megan wants to wear clothes or jewelry that belong to Diana, she has every right to do it. As Prince Harry's wife, as the mother of his kids, she has every right to do it. The tabloids don't seem to have a problem when Kate does it. And what's the difference between Megan and Kate Morton? Megan is a woman of color. Kate is white. It all boils down to my family race. And racism. And clearly, UK media and the Maroc on press in Australia are being extremely racist towards Megan. And my family, we condemn racism in the strongest terms possible. And we demand the UK media and the Maroc on media in Australia to stop these attacks on Megan and leave her alone. Let this woman live in peace. Let her work in peace. Let her thrive in peace. You know, my family. Someone is complaining that Megan went out, my family, looking amazing. They are actually complaining that Megan is wearing expensive things because they don't like seeing her wearing expensive things. Because when Megan stepped back as a senior member of the royal family, UK media promised their readers Harry and Megan will run out of money and they're going to come back to the UK begging Charles for money, begging William for money. My family, more than four years later, after Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the family, still, Harry and Meghan aren't begging for money. Still, Harry and Meghan are doing so well in their business. Meghan has, my family is working on an American Rivera Orchard brand, which I believe my family will make Meghan a billionaire. And this carnival of so-called experts can't stand it. And if you're angry, about Megan wearing expensive things. Know this, Megan wore expensive items long before she even met Prince Harry. My family. Megan even owned a Cartier tank watch long before she met Prince Harry, which she even said she would love to give it to her daughter one day when she had a daughter and now she has a daughter. Lilibet, my family. Lilibet, Princess Lilibet Diana. You know? My family, once again, we are having two currents complaining on TV about Megan wearing expensive things, expensive jewelry. They really can't stand seeing Megan winning. They can't stand that no matter what they've done. Still, their smear campaign is a failure. Danica De Jojo, you predicted that this year Harry and Meghan will divorce, that Meghan will leave Prince Harry. My family, Meghan is by Harry's side. The thing is, also my family, you can see Meghan's, you know, engagement ring, even my family on her. And the reason why I mentioned this, my family, is because when Meghan wasn't wearing this, UK media were predicting that all isn't well between Harry and Meghan, even though Meghan was wearing her wedding ring. Now that she is wearing 
her engagement ring my family. Now is when you see this carnival of so-called experts on TV practically, my family, you know, mentioning the cost of jewelry that Megan has on her, even the price of Megan's engagement ring. And my family, what that does is send a message to my family, even um, to, to bad guys. You know what? Megan has this expensive ring on her at all times. Very, very expensive. That's what UK Media do whenever they keep on mentioning the cost of Megan's, my family, jewelry. They don't do it when it's Kim Bolton. You don't hear them mentioning the cost of Kate's ring. On my family, the expensive jewelry that Kate has, my family, or not. Let's not even talk about that. They don't even talk about the renovations that Kate and William did, my family, to their Kesto Palace apartments. Where they stay in my family, where my family, sorry, they used to stay in my family. Where they used to stay in my family. You know? William has given Kate, my family, a place that, uh, a cottage called Adelaide Cottage to stay, to stay my family in there. I hear that, uh, William, his helicopter is my family scene, you know, heading to Kingston Palace, my family. So, so many, many times, my family. Well, we all know his wife, Kimilton, is staying at Adelaide Cottage. My family, you know, clearly they're living separate lives and the media know it. So, so my family and they cover for William and Kimilton. So my family, as I continue, you know, even these individuals, you know, the UK media, refuse to focus on, for example, the cost of renovating Bangan Palace. But not to focus on my family, what Harry and Meghan have. Jewelry, possessions. They want to focus on that. You know? They want to focus on that. And yet they pay nothing to fund Harry and Meghan. They pay nothing to fund them. They don't pay their bills. You know? They pay nothing to fund Harry Megan. You know, my family, these people need to leave Harry and Megan alone. They really, really need to. They really, really, my family, you know, need to. And my family, we also want to see some kind of unhinged stuff that Kinsey Schofield also comes up, my family, you know, with the lies these people tell is just too much, too much, too much. Aren't we done with the Diana cosplay? And remember, it's believed that Meghan intentionally wore Princess Diana's perfume around Prince Harry. This has been written about in books so that he would instinctually feel drawn to her when they first started seeing each other. So, yes, it's giving cringe. Let's move on, Meghan. I, you know, I, I... My family, the problem is that Kinsey Schofield feels like she can tell Megan what to do. That's also another issue. Megan is not a slave, Kinsey Schofield. She's not a slave. She's a free woman and she can do whatever it is she wants to do. And Kinsey, you know, she has a podcast whereby somehow she says that Dana is someone that she, she admired so much. My family. That's what she, she says. And my family, she's telling... <laughs> More like uh, demanding that the actual daughter-in-law of the late Princess Diana, my family, not to wear jewelry that belonged to her. <laughs> you know, my family, that's why these people are unhinged. There's a serious issue with uh, people like Kinsey Schofield. There's a serious issue, my family, with people like Kinsey Schofield in the head. She is not well. She is really not well. You know? She is really not well, my family. She is really not well. She is really not well at all. At all. She is not well at all. It's a big problem with these people. You know? In my family, the thing is, Megan, as I've said, is the late Diana's daughter-in-law, my family. 
Prince Harry as Meghan's husband gifted her, my family, the late Diana's, you know, watch. These people who are so unloved in their personal lives are complaining because a husband gave his wife a gift. Megan is Harry's wife. Accept it and get over it. Accept it and just get over it. And my family also this like that somehow Megan wore Dana's perfume before she, she met Prince Harry. It's a lie. It's a lie created by UK media to claim that somehow Megan manipulated Prince Harry to loving her. It, it's, it, it's a lie. It's a lie, it's a lie, a big lie, a big lie, a big lie. You know? That's how Megan schemed into making Prince Harry fall in love with her. And number one, by wearing, you know, a perfume that belonged to, to, to Diana. <laughs> and suddenly, someone is going to believe this nonsense. Someone is going to believe this nonsense. You know, my family, because the thing is, Prince Harry already said why he fell in love with Meghan. Number one, he says that clearly, you know, she got to know Meghan. And he got to know Meghan, and Meghan got to know him. My family. And also, she, he could see that Meghan is so kind, an amazing human being. And Harry fell in love with her. Harry did not fall in love with Kinsey Schofield. Or Danica, and they've got to accept it. Harry is married to one of color and they have kids, and forever and ever they are going to be bonded for life, no matter what, because of their kids and also because of their experiences in life. Whether Danica or Kinsey Scofield like it or not, the people who want to exploit Diana are complaining. My family, people who exploit Diana and exploit her and Megan's names for clicks, for engagement, for views, are complaining that my family, Megan, who is actually the late Diana's daughter in law, my family, is wearing a watch that belongs to her. <laughs> you know, no wonder we say these people will never ever get over the fact. The Harry chose and that he chose Megan more than four years later after Harry and Megan step back as senior members of the royal family, they are still complaining that Prince Harry chose Megan. That Prince Harry fell in love with Megan more than four years later after Harry and Megan step back as senior members of the royal family when they asked her to choose to. Megan or them, UK Media. Harry chose Megan and Archie. And they still won't accept it. They still refuse to accept it, my family. Even right now. My family, these people are going to see Megan wearing even more and more gifts from my husband, Prince Harry. And they're going to keep on, you know, realizing that my family. Listen, that Megan and Harry love each other and there is nothing that they can do about it. I mean, they've been trying for eight years to destroy them. They have failed. They have failed. Well, Harry and Megan keep on my family thriving. You know? Yes, I can see that UK media don't like seeing Megan wearing expensive things. But you know what? Megan has been wearing expensive things before she even met Prince Harry. Remember that Megan is the only self-made millionaire to marry into the royal family. But Karen's have an issue with her wearing expensive things. <laughs> you know, my family, first of all, Megan works also. She and Harry got a good deal with Netflix and Spotify, even though the contract ended Megan's played very, very well. My family played very well. She can afford expensive things in the family. And also, Megan's American Rivera Orchard brand is almost about to come out. My family is almost about to come out. So I believe it's going to be huge. So really, my family, Megan and Harry will keep on thriving. And they can afford expensive things. This mere campaign 
meant to destroy Harry Meghan's uh, image, reputation. That way nobody wants to work with them. Has been a failure. Has been a failure. And the fact is, Harry Meghan have made so much money ever since even they stepped back as senior members of the royal family. And they've done extremely well. They've done extremely well. Well, my family. These currents have no right to demand the late Diana's daughter-in-law. Not where expensive jewelry that belonged to my friend Lady Diana that was gifted by her husband, Prince Harry, who loves her. My family. My family. And you'll find that these are the same currents that Nika and Kinsey Scofield who complain that Meghan and Harry hold hands. Harry and Meghan love each other. And the abusers have got to learn to accept it. Harry chose, and he chose Meghan and Archie and Lilibet. He will never ever choose his wife's abusers. He will never ever choose Karen's, like in this Schofield or Danica, over the mother of his kids. My family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Badana and Doria Maglin. And all of you members, God at home, he never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever. May God bless you, all my family. And may no weapon form against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bad, Diana ever prosper. My family, stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Scott Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.